Welcome back to Quick Pixel and we are making this cool dispersion effect for this video. So let's get into it. Alright, so first you have to open your image and if you like to use the same image I'm using, the image link will be in the description. So just press Ctrl and J on your keyboard and that will unlock this layer. First we have to remove the background of this image and for that you can use any method that you prefer. You can use pen tool or even select subject. So for this one I'm using select subject. So once you have made a nice selection, just click on this add layer mask. So just click on the background layer and hit ctrl J again and go to filter liquify. And just copy these brush settings and just start to do something like this. So once you are done hit ok. So it will be something like this. So click on this add layer mask. So now hit ctrl and I on your keyboard that will inverse this mask. So now you have to open this particle image that I got for you guys and the link of this image will be in the description. So just open it and click on edit and define brush preset. So as you can see we got ourselves a particle brush and you can always change brushes by clicking right click on your mouse and you can choose the brush that you like. So I'm gonna choose the recent one that we made and go back to our image. So let me just quickly add another background. So just click on the layer that has your subject and right click on it and select convert to smart object. Now click on this layer mask again and choose the brush that we recently made and reduce its size a bit. Now choose a black color and just start clicking on it. You can change the brush direction to make it more natural. And if you want to revert anything just change this brush to a white brush so just start painting and it will revert the area that you recently made. So now click on this liquefied image that we made and change the brush to a white and just start clicking again. That was it for the video. If you have any questions do let me know in the comment section and see you in the next one.